So, so here we are at the Geneva Salon 2010 with Alois and Estonia Roof and presenting the new uh, roof car. Alois, the stage is yours. <laughs> well, you're looking at the RGT8. The 8 stands for the amount of cylinders that the engine has. Mm -hmm. uh, our goal was to build a lightweight car, mm -hmm. as light as possible at this time. With still having enough comfort, like air conditioning, having the IRC, which is a very important uh, feature for the uh, stiffness of the body and the rigidity. And yeah, the course, integrated road cage. Yes, and at the same time, it is the perfect uh, passenger protection. So, uh, when you look here, you see one bar coming up here this way, and the uh, bars that are following the A pillar going all the way to the firewall of the engine compartment. They are completely hidden yep. behind the headlamp. We have also a new instrument cluster. That's Our, right. Yes, uh, the idea was to bring the car a little more back to the basic DNA of the 911. Mm -hmm. And um, one of the things, of the features as far as design, I would like to show you here which is the curvature of the front fenders. Mm -hmm. The front fenders are not only wider, they also have a different curvature, so it gives the car a little bit more of feminine sex appeal. Th that's right, it's more curved. Uh, you that's, don't notice it in the first yes. glance. We want to bring the car into a little bit more of a feminine shape. That, that was the idea. Uh, and it's center lock bolts? The uh, center lock wheels, of course, wheels, yeah. with uh, ceramic brakes. And now the surprise, I think, is when I open the engine lid. I will open the engine cover now. And you will notice that our engine compartment is much larger by about 12 centimeters. Mm -hmm. So you have more of a view to the engine. And the surprise, of course, that you see here, it's our new eight-cylinder engine. Interesting. The eight-cylinder engine is here on the stand, and I will can show you a couple of more details so you understand what we're doing. Okay. Uh, this is a very flat bottom engine, as you can see. And on the first glance, uh, when you are an engine connoisseur, you know that the engine has a DNA of a race car engine. The weight is significantly less than the 911 engine, although it's an eight cylinder with 4.5 liters. Uh, but we were trying to make each part of the engine uh, as light as possible. It is, a, of course, a four cam, four valve, mm -hmm. and the four valves are in a spherical layout, uh, which is uh, something that we know from racing engines, like from the one engines, DTM, or OOC engines. It has a full dry sump lubrication with uh, five uh, suction pumps and one pressure pump to lubricate the engine. One of uh, the important um, details is that there is no belt. There is no belt running. All the um, aggregates like water pump, yep. like generator or AC compressor are directly driven off the engine and they were kept as low as possible to keep the center of gravity as low as possible. Exactly. All right? So that gives you an idea. We are talking of 550 horsepower for a normal aspirated engine. And this is, I think, the next step that the 911 needs in order to uh, be compatible, competitive uh, with the um, Audis, AMGs, yeah. and BMWs, M models that are out there. Exactly. Right. Uh, and that means a lot of uh, revolutions. 8,500 uh, RPMs. That's a lot. Yeah, it yeah. must sound beautiful. Beautiful sound. It's a 180 degree crank mm. shaft, also known as the flat crank. Mm. And uh, so therefore the engine does not have the typical uh, rolling sound of uh, or rumbling sound a NASCAR. Of, of, of a V8. Of <laughs> yeah. a V8, you don't hear the stomping sound of a V8. You hear a very exciting, uh, winding, turbine-like sound. Ferrari-like sound. <laughs>
<laughs> uh, something. In the same idea, the, because yeah. the configuration of the engine is similar. Or yes. Karajitan Vitan sound. Or so, yes. Uh -huh. uh, and uh, please tell us a bit uh, about this beautiful RT12S. This is the RT12S, which is the top of the line model of all the 911 series for us uh, with a 685 horsepower engine, top speed 360 kilometers. Here, well uh, packaged in a nice color combination. What is the name of this color? It's dark green? Uh, yes, it's dark green. It is uh, and similar to a racing green, but it's our version of it. And uh, here we have a beautiful like caramel, light brown interior. Uh, this is more like a cognac color yeah, interior. Cognac. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, and we also have here an integrated roll oh, yes. cage. This is standard. And uh, we have a Cognac Alcantara headliner. Right, right. Uh, and um, we also, uh, uh, a, a double clutch is, um, it's, it, it the, can't handle the power. No, we, uh, we, are, we are staying with the manual gear shift. And the yeah. typical feature for the air intake, I think, is known yes. by the connoisseurs for the intercoolers. And it's been there since the CTR1. Yeah, yeah, uh, that's right. And thank you very much, Alois. All right. <laughs> You're were inspired in the Paul Freire uh, oh, race oh, car where oh, he won oh, in Le Mans in 1953. Oh, oh. You always see the historical ties. You have to, yeah. because in like uh, the French say so good, in the Italian movie has histoire. There's no love without history. Oh, exactly. Okay, okay. And you have to bring this element because it's make the history of what the cars are today. Okay. And this is not retro by any means. No, no, no. This is just making the sexy lines of that time. Oh. And, and the rear spoiler is the same as the RT12S? Yeah, the, the same as the RT12S. You could have more dramatic. You could have a more dramatic rear spoiler. Exactly, but, but it looks it's perfect. It's elegant it for what it is. Perfectly. And it's, it's ra it will race us? Uh, yeah, it's hydraulic. Exactly, as uh, RT12. Uh, and... Um,